Hey guys, I am going to be trying the heart of palm this time. The hearts of palm. They look like little mozzarella cheese sticks. So I haven't tried these before. I saw them on YouTube. Um, and I'm going to also cook some um, cauliflower rice with that. Add a little brown sugar and Italian dressing and just give a few little flavors um okay so what we're gonna do um you're gonna we're gonna rinse these off and then we're gonna put a little olive oil on this griddle i'm gonna take them off and i'm gonna i cut them in half keep in mind i have not tasted them yet i didn't want to i want to be surprised so I just cut them in half, and I hope I don't have my eye up. I have no idea, again, no idea what I'm getting myself into. So we're going to let that cook, and we want uh, them to get brown. So I wish this was the actual grill, but... um. If not, I'm going to put my cauliflower rice on this side. And I'm just going to let that begin to brown a little. I'm going to spread it out because I want to add my I did Italian dressing and some light brown sugar and we're just going to pour a little bit you can use any type of dressing but this is just to give a nice little sweet flavor Mix it in a bit. I don't know if you've ever tried cauliflower rice, but I tried it once before. Just gonna let that sit. So what I have is some uh, garlic powder. So I'll try that. I got a little onion powder. Again, I'm trying this for the first time, so I really don't know the different types of flavor that would go well with this. So I'm just testing it out and I will probably be able to tell. I'm putting a little Mrs. Dash. And I'm not gonna try the Himalayan salt yet because I don't know if, um, pepper. I don't know how it's gonna taste. So. Chicken on my heart of palm. Palm. Getting a little brown here. I better cut the oven, the um, dribble down. So I'm going to assume that these are almost done. And I put them in a. Do they tear apart like little pieces of chicken? I know a lot of the. Um, Vegan um, people eat them, vegetarian eat them, eat it to replace the um, substitute for the meat. And I know that sometimes they um, tear them apart like that, and they become little pieces of um, that looks like stripped chicken. 
and then you can put barbecue sauce on it and put it in a bun between two buns as if you're eating um, a full pork sandwich. Alright, this is my daughter Ariel and my husband Benji and they are going to be the taste testers uh, for the um, barbecue pulled pork or if they think it tastes more like chicken they could um, call it barbecue chicken. So they're going to let me know how it tastes and I also have some cauliflower rice and okay you may Which put... Which one is to taste first? Yeah. Uh, you can taste the cauliflower. Okay, what is your? Nice. <laughs> um, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, what does it taste like? What does the cauliflower rice taste like? Like, I don't know, it's oh. <laughs> It does taste like rice. Okay. It does? Does it taste like rice area? Mm-hmm. It got it the does. texture of rice. And okay. it tastes like some like Chinese. Yeah, I well I put a little Italian and brown sugar mixture in it to give it a little okay. flavor. Okay. All right. Good. All right. So you give it a what? On a scale of one to ten. A one On a scale of one to ten. I give it a seven. Okay, a seven? Seven point three. Okay. All right. So now let's go to the uh Pull pork, put your buns on top, take a nice bite so you can wait. One, two, three. Get to chew it up and swallow so you can get a taste. Too much barbecue. I let y'all I let y'all see. Pull pork barbecue sandwich. Or a chicken sandwich. Okay, first we'll start with Ariel. It's good. Okay. Um, what you want me to say? Like, what? Give me your opinion. Like, how does it taste? Would you eat it again? Does it taste like barbecue or chicken? It don't taste like barbecue. It like it don't taste like pork or chicken. Okay. It tastes like something else. Does it taste like meat? Is that what the, mm. this is what the vegans eat? 
to su supplement their meat. Well, it's a good supplement. Like, okay. it tastes pretty good. But do you know what it tastes like? No. It just tastes like a pulled pork sandwich. Like a barbecue sandwich. Oh, it does taste like meat? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Beans? Yeah, I would say it tastes like, it tastes like meat. Okay. It's like a pork sandwich. But um, it's too soft? Too soft? The taste of it looks like pork. The taste mm -hmm. of it, 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 it tastes like, <laughs> it tastes like pork. It tastes like pork? It tastes like pork barbecue. Okay. So it don't taste like chicken. Okay. So we can safely say a pulled pork, a barbecue pulled it pork. Can be, it, can, it can be a substitute. Okay. For pulled pork. So then they're right when they, when they are fixing this meal to substitute their meat. Um, I can see how. Okay. Because it's stringy. Mm -hmm. The texture of it is stringy. Okay. Would you add anything on it, or is that just a preference for anybody? It's already got barbecue. Mm -hmm. That barbecue, that barbecue, making it taste like pork. Okay. Called the texture plus the barbecue. Um, and you can't hardly taste it, but yeah. Okay. All right, so on a scale of one to ten, you get you see they ate half of it. Y'all gonna finish that up? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, y'all were just tasting it for me. So what could I cook this again? Um, if we need to give up meat for our health. Yes, you can. Okay. All right. So you you will eat it again. Uh, yes, if I have to. If you have to, okay. <laughs> Scale of one to ten. Area. Um, because I, it's very good, but because I'm so used to meat, it tastes like meat. But I'll give it a six. Okay, that's fine. A six. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Six point five. Okay, six. Okay, all right, people. There you have it. The pool, um, pork barbecue sandwich did pass the test. Cause it's over five, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and they would eat it again if they had to. Mm -hmm. And um, but for now, they'd rather stick to the regular meat. Okay, all right. And y'all know what y'all was eating, right? Uh, the stuff we talked about yesterday. <laughs> what is it called? Uh, palm. Yeah, the palm. heart. The, the heart, heart of palm. The heart of palm, and it it actually came from, or it comes from, the center of a palm tree. Yeah. Okay. Center of a palm tree. All yeah. right. That would take some good use. To, it would take some getting used to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if we had to, then yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Great. There you have it, people. I passed the test. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>